What ultimately led, Shefty, to Dan Snyder making this decision? Well, good morning, Green. From the moment the Redskins announced on July 3rd that they were undergoing that thorough review, there's no way that they could go back to keeping that name once they launch that review at a time like this in this country. There was pressure, yes, from FedEx and Pepsi and some of the other sponsors, the major sponsors like Nike that are associated with the Washington NFL franchise. But the fact of the matter is Dan Snyder had been engaged in discussions with the NFL for the last few weeks. They had been considering other names. And when they get the financial pressure and the times that we're living in and make that announcement in early July, the truth of the matter is there's no way they're going back to that name. We said last week that all Native American imagery would be out on any new nickname. And so what other choice? The only news today is the fact that they're actually making it official today and saying that that name, that nickname, will no longer be a part of the franchise. But again, from early this month, there was no chance that that name was going to be back in Washington this but, season. Uh, the important point that I think you're making here is that they will announce that. They will not announce what the team will now be called. What do we know of the timeline for when we can expect to find out? Again, this is a, a name that goes back 87 years, practically to the founding of the National Football League. What kind of timeline can we expect to find out what they will now be called? Our ESPN NFL Nation reporter, John Kimes, said it has to do with trademark issues. But I believe they've made a decision on the name. I believe they have the name. And I believe we're just waiting legal formalities here before they actually can announce that name. And that could come, I would think, as early as this week. Look, training camp is scheduled to start later this month. Whether it actually does is a whole other question. But they're going to want that name out there sooner. The sooner they can get it out, the more merchandise they could sell, frankly. And so... Again, I think they know the direction that they're headed in, and it's just a question of when they legally can put the name out there. All right, yeah, you just touched on other news that we'll get to a little later about the NFL owners meeting about the start of the season and some of the hurdles they have to jump. We'll get to that a little later in the show. But, Marcus, let me come to you. You're just a former player and, 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 and one who is obviously well aware of what the conversation around this has been for a long time. What's your reaction to this decision? Again, they will make it official today. They will change the name of the team in Washington. Well, obviously, Chef did make great points about the other things that transpire around this. But, gee, this is simple. It's financial pressure. Dan Snyder is on record saying he would never, and he said, in quote, capital, never change the name of the Washington Redskins. This is not a new conversation either. I want people to understand that. I understand what's going on in the country with, with unrest and social justice issues and all of the things that are transpiring outside publicly. And obviously it would be a bad look for the Washington Redskins to be tone deaf to actually what's happening in the United States of America. But with that being said, it's two names that Shefty mentioned that got this change, FedEx and Nike. Because once those numbers came out and we saw, I think, a figure of $600 billion, investors start talking about it, removing money, removing merchandise from the Washington Redskins organization, that's when Dan Snyder changed his mind. So I'm not standing on a podium about to have a celebration for Dan Snyder for being conscious about social justice issues because he is not changing the name because of that. He's changing the name because of financial pressure from these companies that were talking about him pulling out if they didn't make a change. I, I think that is fair, candidly. I think that I think there is a perception, and I don't think it's an unreasonable one, that he has been dragged to this, perhaps to some degree, kicking and screaming, because you were right. He did once famously, quote, never in obvious. capital letters. No, no question about that. One way or another, we, as soon as there is that official announcement made, and we expect it practically any moment here, we will have it for you 